Hello, how are you? Good evening, guys. Good evening. How was your weekend? All good, all right? Everything was okay. Everything was okay. Nice. Nice, guys. So today we will finish the section three with the midterm. I remember we had um, we had already finished this part, right? The indirect request. If I'm not mistaken, hicimos, uh, we did the, um, we watched the video, right? Yes or no? Know this video? By a we question. Were, we, we were in the 3.10. The 3.10 then, okay. Thank you for reminding then, okay? So we were talking about uh, when to use whether or if. The meaning is the same when we're saying if or we're saying whether, okay? So let's watch the video, guys, because I know you probably didn't watch anything on the weekend, okay? Do you hear? Example, you call a person and the person is oh, yes. yes, right now, I can hear. Okay. This is what we call an indirect request. Today, we're gonna focus on turning yes or no questions into indirect requests and we're going to use if or whether so we're going to ask a question indirect for example could you ask Sophia if she's free on Friday or another way could be could you ask Sophia if she's free on Friday or another way could be could you ask Sophia whether she's free on Friday so let me quickly present some structure. As you can see on the chart, you can see how we turn yes or no questions into indirect requests. So the example that I had given earlier was, Sophia, are you free on Friday? And we turned that into an indirect request by saying, can you ask Sophia if she's free on Friday? Another way that we can possibly do this is by saying, could you ask Sophia whether she's free on Friday? And then a third way that we can actually do it is by saying, could you ask Sophia whether or not she's free on Friday? So all of those three ways are just different forms on how we can ask the same thing. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to write a couple of questions and then we're going to practice turning those questions into indirect requests. So let me just uh, uh, write the question here and then we will uh, turn that into an indirect request. There we go. So uh, let's say, for example, we have first one. Do you, ha uh, Jennifer, do you have a date for the party? So how are we going to change this? Well, first okay, one, before we continue, guys, can you help me with the cameras? Please. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So we have the question. This is the direct question, right? Do you have a party? Do you have a date? Um, uh, do you have... Um, something to eat do you have something um to do this weekend or uh, this week so well, how would you form the indirect question using whether or if super easy guys super easy how do you form the indirect question Yes, only one. It's okay. No problem. Don't, don't, don't fight for answering. No se peleen por contestar, hombre. Come on. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have the direct question. Por ejemplo, do you have a date? ¿Cómo dirían esa misma pregunta en indirect question usando if or whether? Vaya, si lo voy a poner y le voy a seguir preguntando. Pongamos el ejemplo. Ajá. Brandy, tell me, could you ask? The teacher. What was the rest? 
la misma, it would be the same. Do you have a date for the party? A date, this means like a day, a special um, day and uh, date, remember? Not necessary a uh, date to have like something important to do with somebody, okay? Or a love day. In this case, it's a date, una fecha for the party. Can you, can you ask the teacher if she's uh, have a day for the party? Ajá, Ve veamos nada más acá para que ve veamos the verb, in this case, should change, okay? Let's watch the video and then you tell me more examples, okay? Let's finish the video. Two. And then in this case, we're going to change the verb to ask. Right. Could you ask Jennifer if she has a date for the party? All right. So what we did was we added could you and then we that follows the verb, ask, and then that follows uh, the... Acá no es una pregunta directa, entonces lo hacemos indirecto como una estructura en affirmative, all right? So in this case, instead of say, if she has, just remember the third person. Siempre si a esta tercera persona le vamos a cambiar el verbo, right? Yes? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Okay, nice. Let's continue and then you give me more examples. Ya le voy a hacer preguntas indirectas so you can do it in indirect questions. Si ya se les olvidó, ¿verdad? Come on. The object, Jennifer, and that follows if. All right. Could you ask Jennifer if, and here is the message that we want to give, if she has a date for the party. Notice that we don't include the auxiliary verb in this kind of question. So that will be one way to put it. Another way could be, could you ask Jennifer whether she has a date for the party? That could be another way to do it. And finally, one uh, last way that we want to learn as well is, could you ask? Jennifer, whether or not she has a date for the party. Okay. So in the first one we use if, on the second one we use just the word uh, whether, and then we use whether or not. Uh, and then uh, the message uh, did not change. So I'm going to go ahead and color that in green so that you can see that it did not change. Right. Here we go. Okay, excellent. Notice that in this case we are no longer given a message but asking a question instead. And so therefore the verb that we uh, use is no longer tell but uh, we use the verb ask. So what I'd like for you to do next, I'm going to go ahead and um, uh, write a couple of more questions here. And this time, I would like for you to try them out. See if you can turn those questions into indirect requests. I want you to do it in the three forms that we just um, did at this time. All right, so let me just change the size on there so you can quickly see it. So, Jennifer, do you have my number? This is actually the example that is here. Could you ask Jennifer whether or not she has my number? Uh, Jennifer, do you want to go to the party with me? Could you ask Jennifer if she wants to go to the party with me? Could you ask Jennifer whether or not she wants to go to the party with me? But what I would like for you to do is go through this um, exercise following the pattern that you see there. Uh, and of course, um, by doing that, you'll make sure that you are understanding this particular topic. That could be another way to Nice. Now... Let's do direct question. Will you go out later? 
Ask me the indirect question in here, please. Could you tell me if you will go out later? That's correct. Or you can also, can you ask, pregúntele, a, ahí le está, me lo dice directo, como, ah, oh, me puedes decir si vas a salir. Pero si yo le quiero decir, hey, pregúntele a Alejandro si va a salir ahora. A ver, a ver, ya. Can, could, remember any could other model. Would. would you please? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you please? Ask. Exactly. Ask. Y de ahí digo a quién, ¿verdad? Yeah, then we say the person who we want to ask. Yes. So I would say Ernesto. What is the next? Vamos. If, Solo Jan si if, me está contestando. Ajá. Los demás me pueden escribir en el chat. If he, yeah, if or whether. Okay, whether. Ahí le puso if. Sorry, if or whether, either or, cualquiera de ambos, ¿ya? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He if will he, go very good. out later. Applause. If he will go out later. To ask me something else. Ahora, Jancy, pregúntale a alguien más una direct question y que se la hagan en indirect question. Vamos, come on. What time are you going to go? Out. Okay. What time? Who are you asking? Um, to to Susana. To Susana. All right. Make it in in the question, and you can ask uh Jancy. Pregunte que le pregunte a Jancy. Uh huh. A la otra Jancy. Yeah. Jancy is Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, Andrea. <laughs> I know. I remember. You. Your name would be Andrea, right? Más fácil para identificarla, easier, yeah. Susana. Hi, um, would you ask, uh, who, sorry, Jancy, did you say? Sarai, yeah. Sarai, or, would you ask, uh, Sarai? Would you ask, Sarai, uh, whether, what was the question, sorry? What time are you going to go out? All right, uh, thank you. Um, Will they ask me? Uh, I don't know, give me a second. Uh, whether, I don't know, seriously, sorry. Teacher, in that question, we need to use the conditional. Sí, lo único que va a hacer es ponerle el hijo el weather. Vamos a ver, ¿quién más nos ayuda? Somebody else Whether, wants to Whether help? what time? Whether what time? Whether... Mm. <laughs> yeah, but aquí sí suena un poquito raro el weather, ¿verdad? If, okay, if... In this case, will be... No, no, va, no necesitamos ponerle weather, sino que de un solo what time. Si se fijan acá, en, el, en los ejemplos anteriores, Sí, tenía when, what, si es WH question, no ocupamos el if en este caso. Así que sí, tiene razón, aquí no es necesario el if, Susana, sorry. Uh -huh. So it would be, como me, vamos a ver cómo lo haríamos entonces, maybe, how can we form it? Would you ask Sarai, miren el ejemplo aquí. Yeah, would you ask Sarai what time? That's it, yeah. What time? She is gonna out. What time she is going out? Is she gonna... What time oh, no. she is? Is she is la, la, direct, la direct question. Are you, is she, are they? In direct question ya es como una respuesta afirmativa. All right? Okay. Nice. What time she is gonna? No es is she gonna because it's not the direct question. All right? What time is she, uh, what time she is? Gonna, por eso, si ya dijimos esta expresión al inicio, ya tiene que ir una, re, una, re, una res, como una respuesta, ¿verdad? ¿Ya? What time she's uh -huh. gonna go out. Exactly. What time she's gonna go out. Uh -huh. 
ahí está. Ok. Nice. Um, any other question? Maybe you can ask another a direct question and somebody else can help me with that. Pueden hacer con el if o pueden hacer también con question word. Ok, con WH, question. Ok. Um, 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 uh, don't be late after after the day you have. Ah, very good. Entonces ahí es un indirect request con un infinitive, ¿verdad? casi como un, un imperative. Ok. I'm going to write it for you. Eh, don't, be don't be late. Por ahí tampoco se va a ocupar la condicional. Ahí no se ocuparía el condicional. Veamos como les digo, esta imagen nos puede ubicar un poquito mejor de cómo hacer la indirect request, pero sí puede ser como en preguntas, yes, no. ¿Verdad? Si, si es yes and no, ahí podemos decir if or whether. Si es WH question, then ocupamos cualquier WH question. ¿Ok? Y si es un imperative, como lo dice maybe, en este caso, pues vamos a decir can you tell, can you ask, can you, can you say to my friend that? Y ahí uh, eh, sería entonces, perdón, not to be late. Ok, ya, ya les dije la respuesta. Hagamos okay. otro imperativo. Don, can you, can you tell or can you ask the students not to be late? And that's an indirect question. Yes. Sorry, sorry, I gave you the, the answer already. Yes. Um, any other questions? Vamos a hacer otra, otra pregunta. Um, hmm, ever. No, it's not there ever. Can you ask ever if he if he is in the class? <laughs> I'm here, teacher. Excellent. Okay. So can ask a regular me? question. Yes. Now I can hear you and I can yeah, see. Sorry, mm -hmm. my camera is not working very well, so I have no another camera right now. Okay. Siri. Uh, I don't know if you can. Regular question. Cualquier pregunta que se le venga a la mente. No, okay. y alguien más le ayuda a hacer la indirect question. Uh, uh -huh. um, regular, um, I want to make an irregular, if I can. Okay, Flora, ask another question, regular question. Let me think, I don't know. <laughs> mm. How, uh, how was your uh, day? Uh, how was your day? Very good. Okay. How was your day? How? Esa es con WH question. How was your day? All right. Pregúntele a Ever cómo estuvo su día. Uh -huh. Vamos. As an indirect question. As an or... indirect question. Yes. Ya me dio una directa. You say it directly. Yeah. Mm, as indirect. Ever, yeah. can you please, can you tell me how was your day? No. 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 How was your day es lo mismo, ¿ves? How was your day? No fue dire indirecta. Ahí fue otra directa. Okay. Help me. It's Vamos con Marina. This. Repeat, Flor, repeat. No, no, no. I, I was... Um... I get a little bit confused in this part with the indirect questions. Yeah. Vaya. <laughs> Vamos a tener que regresar a hacer preguntas normales con sus respuestas. Okay. Por can ejemplo. I, yes, Brandy. Can I say, uh, Ever, could you tell me if your day was okay? 
why not? It sounds perfect. Ahí tiene, tiene muy, mucho sentido lo que, lo que usted está preguntando. Sin embargo, however, with this question specifically, Ever, could you tell me how? How your day was. Exactly, how your very day was. good. How your day was, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, recuerden en pregunta, ¿verdad? Si estoy hablando con verbo to be, ocupo I am para hacer una, eh, una afirmación. Y si no, lo ocupamos am I, yes? Esa es una pregunta, ¿ok? Um, you are, she is, entonces solo le vamos a dar vuelta para hacer la pregunta, ¿ok? Pero en este caso, si queremos hacer una indirect question, si ya lleva expresiones como can you tell me, do you know, ¿ok? Can you ask, would you ask, would you mind asking the students how their days, uh, how their day was, cómo fue su día. Entonces, my day was, Fine. Fine. Respuesta. Pregunta, how was your day, verdad? Day was. Was day. How was your day? In, esa es una pregunta. Siempre recuérdense, para hacer la pregunta se hace cambiando el verbo de posición. Remember? Y si le agregamos la WH question, no importa, pero el verbo siempre va a ir primero. Are you? Is she? Are they? Was you? Sorry, was you, was your day fine? Was your day okay? Or how was your job? ¿Cómo estuvo? Simplemente decimos was y después el sujeto. Ok. Eh, but, es para estar hablando, por ejemplo, do you, alguien que me haga con, con el do you? Preguntas con do you? Do you work today? Exactly. Do you go later? Como ya como el hoy ya pasó, podríamos mejor ocupar el did en este caso también, ¿verdad? Hey, did you work today? ¿Trabajaste hoy? Brandy. No. Ok, puede today? preguntarle a Brandy si ahora trabajó. En este caso sí podemos ocupar el if también, miren. Yes and no question. Ok. Ok. So, did you work today? Guys. ¿Trabajaron hoy? I studied. Uh -huh. yes, I'm working. I did. I worked. Yes, I worked. Entonces, esa es la respuesta. Hagamos la pregunta indirecta. Can you? Can could you? you could you ask, ask, ask Brandy? Whether she. Ajá. Whether. Work. Very good. She worked. Y aquí yo simplemente hago como una afirmación, porque ya lleva la partícula, ¿verdad? O esta pequeña expresión que es pregunta. Ok. Can you ask Brandy? Could you, could you, uh, could you, um, would you mind asking Brandy whether she worked? Y aquí Work. sí le pongo el, el verbo en pasado, ¿verdad? Porque la pregunta directa es, con el did, su respuesta en afirmativo, pues es, Work. con el verbo en pasado. Me explico, chicos. Siento que ya me los estoy confundiendo más. No, no, no. No, no right? Ok, aquí, aquí no, se tiene the, que acordar. The, the question is, uh, is in past, did. Mm -hmm. So the answer, have the, or the, the... In the question. In the question, how to be in past too. En past to and in affirmative. Ya no en pregunta, en sino afirma. que en afirmativo. Porque ya lleva esta, pues, esta, digamos, expresión que denota una pregunta. Por eso son in the questions. Así que bueno, chicos. You can watch the video later. Sí, yo creo que ya pasamos bastante con este tema. And remember that we need to hurry because we need to finish the, the midterm. It's super short, so I know we will have it. Uh, we will for sure finish it today. But indirect question by a question word. Um, it's very similar. So this only lasts two minutes, so we can watch it as well. Highlight this in so, another color, no, it's just not to make too, sure that we're getting this. A little bit long. For example, let's say we want to know what time 
a particular event starts. Um, and this is basically so, the same. Uh, could you ask the same example? Sophia, what time? Como the party el, como el anterior, solo que lleva. This is what we're going to. Solo que lleva una WH word, verdad? Es lo mismo que acabamos de ver en el video anterior. Así que porfa, ya vamos a hacer más más ejercicios de esto. But first of all, we need to finish the midterm. Puede haber algunas cosas que tal vez ustedes no sepan cómo contestarlas. Aunque yo sé que están bien fáciles. I know they're very easy, so it's not going to be complicated for you. However, with this, that we have to fill out the um, um, typing, right? Sometimes we may have some doubts, okay? Uh, so, how many friends I can bring to the party? ¿Qué le pondrían al inicio? Porque esta no es un esta es una indirect question, pero le falta algo. Help me read the instructions, please. Um, mm, Raúl, are you there? One, two, three. Yeah, teacher. Um, Can you read yeah. for me, please? Me, ¿Le pueden pedir a Raúl que, que lea por mí? ¿Cómo me dirían esa indirect question? Could you ask the teacher? Could you ask the teacher? No, a Raúl. Could you ask to Raúl? Can you ask Raúl? If he can read. Ok. O de un solo. Que lea. Que lea. To read. Ahí ocupo un infinitivo también. ¿Lo puedo decir con if? Of course. Si se fijan, uno lo puede decir de miles de formas, ¿verdad? So, don't worry, guys. Eh, if sometimes you don't know how to express yourself, exprésese la manera que sea, pero no se quede como que, ¿cómo que digo esto? ¿Verdad? No. Uno hay que hablar como sea, como caiga, ¿verdad? Lo importante es darnos a entender. Obviamente, aquí estamos aprendiendo y vamos a hacer algunas correcciones para como que hablemos bien, digamos, correctamente, eh, Especialmente grammatically, ¿ok? Ok, so rewrite, can you please read? Ok, teacher, eh, re, rewrite the sentence as Ses indirect. Sentences. Rewrite the sentences as indirect request, as indirect request. In other words, ask someone to deliver the message for you. Only complete the missing words and make sure you use the correct spelling and punctuation. Punctuation. Yeah, good job. So, in this case, who wants to tell me? I don't know if you did it already, but if you can tell me, can you please tell me? Um, or can somebody tell me? Uh, whether the answer is uh, the correct here? Could you ask Tony how okay. many friends? Very good. Remember to start with the capital. Sometimes it is important to maintain the punctuation correctly, right? So it's could you ask Tony? Y ahí está lo demás, ¿verdad? How many friends I can bring to the party? Uh, do you know if, uh, do you know whether we need to write the complete answer or not? No, not It's necessary. not necessary, right? It's not necessary. Good job. So number two, can you help me, guys? Come on, come on, come on. If she's you ask she's going me, to yeah. the party. If she is going to the party. Okay. It could be weather as well, right? But you can make it easier just to write it, uh, just writing if. The next. Could you ask Kevin? Could you ask Kevin? Could you ask Kevin? Okay. Okay, otra cosa, cosa, another word that we can ask. Otra forma de preguntar en lugar de can. Could. I say could. Could you, could. Please, could you please ask? Uh huh. Yeah, it's more it's more um, polite. Remember, but 
Si le ponemos would, no sé si se la va a tomar. Vamos a ver no, si no. se puede. No. Would you no, I, 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 I could. Could. Could, yes. could you ask? Could you ask could Kevin? Kevin. Ok. Let's try. No perdemos nada para ver. Will be wrong. It will be wrong. All right. Entonces no va, no va if aquí. It's cool. If she is going to the party. Ah, you was lazy and you didn't grab. <laughs> you didn't type just if. <laughs> you were lazy. Lazy. Okay. Yeah. Can you ask can you ask, can you ask Sophia if is she, no, she if she if she with uh delete the capital yeah. And what about the if the beginning? She, if she is going to the party. Aquí todo tiene que ir entonces. El if no necesariamente. If she's going to the party only. Aha, uh -huh. that's it. If, if she is if she is going to the party thank you okay nice and would uh, you ask kevin in this case it's not would is could it's could you good. ask him yes. uh-huh could you ask kevin that's it right whether or not he accepted the invitation all right and yeah. last one is if if he is going he is going to give very good to Tony. Give. Tony, Tony, I give. Okay. Tony, I give. Don't forget, guys, si no lo ponemos, eh, si no ponemos una palabra correcta, igual yo creo que se las va a poner incorrectas, right? So I guess. Mark at the end, please. I'm sorry. Question mark. Oh, yeah. Ah, ya ven, ¿verdad? La vez pasada de decía. Ajá, ah, ah, yeah. Thank you. Y la otra es la minúscula. Al principio. It's, it's in lower cases. That's weird. Oh, yeah, because la segunda ya Exacto. comienza ya. ya no, con, I, I have capital letter and it's okay for me. It no, is, you. In the second one, you have to write if she's going to the party with Jeff. Oh, oh complete ah. it. Okay. Yeah, complete. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Ya okay. ven, entre todos nos... nos... And, and then question mark, right? Question mark. Yeah. Question mark, please. All right. Uh, guys, do you want me to text you the answers o ya lo hicieron? ¿Quién no lo ha hecho para que... Solo copie, como dicen algunas personas. Solo copian y peguen. ¿No? No, ¿verdad? Ya, por eso lo, está, lo estamos haciendo aquí. Ok. So, the next is the midterm. Ok. So, we will finish the midterm right now. And this is a listening activity. Esto es como que para niños. Vaya, but we are going to listen the audio and then we answer the questions. <música> Units 1 to 2 quiz. Part A. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. 1. Hey, Thomas. Hi, Bill. Hey, I haven't seen you since you went off to art school. How do you like it? School's great. I have this fantastic painting teacher, Mr. Parks, who is so cool. What do you like about him? Well, He's the kind of teacher who is completely honest in his opinion of our work. And when he criticizes us, he always includes some helpful advice. He sounds like a great teacher. Two. What's wrong, Shelley? Well, Martin, I sent a close friend a birthday present two months ago, and she's never thanked me for it. She lives in Germany now, but she should have already received my present. Oh, she probably just hasn't had a chance to write you yet. Hmm. You know, it bothers me, too, when people forget to say thank you. Maybe there's a good reason why she forgot. Why don't you just email her and find out? Why didn't I think of that? 
I'll do it tonight. Three. Paula, did you find a job for the summer yet? Actually, I found a couple of them, Billy. I just have to decide which one to take. My uncle owns a summer camp, and he said I could spend the summer working as a lifeguard for him. And what's the other one? Well, working as an extra in a new movie. No, you're kidding. It's true. I have a friend who knows the director. I'd really love to be in a movie. So would I. Could I go to the audition too? Four. Morning, Caroline. What are you doing? I'm looking for a part-time job for winter break. Anything interesting in the paper? Yeah, one sounds pretty good. They're looking for a ski instructor during December. Hey, you're an excellent teacher. You taught me how to ski. Well, yes, but here's another job. It's for a sales clerk position in the ski shop. Oh, but that isn't as interesting and fun. You're right. And the instructor's job is better paid than the sales job. So it's a no-brainer. Number one, what's the answer, guys? Mr. Parks. Mr. Parks. Mr. Parks, okay, is completely honest and gives helpful advice, okay? Uh, if you see, guys, no se dice que da buenos consejos, okay? We don't say uh, advice as uh, plural. Siempre es como eh, singular, okay? If it bothers Shelly and Martin when people... Forget, forget to forget say, to thank, say you. thank you. All right. Yeah. Malagradecido, dice. <laughs> okay. The next, number three. Billy and Paula would love being... An extra, an extra in a movie. In a movie. Okay, I next in a movie. All right. And Caroline wants to apply for the sky the instructor position. position. The sky is con Y, ski is, is con ni normal, verdad? So it's a ski shop source clerk job. Okay, o sea, un vendedor, verdad? Sorry, sorry. Okay. Next. Okay, here I need some volunteers to read. I remember last time, and obviously I would like to finish uh, some of the previous exercises on section two, because I know that there was a reading activity and some of you have hardships, como que a veces nos cuesta leer, ¿verdad? Algunas palabras y también no le damos como una entonación. Hoy vamos a tener un pequeño reading, pero me acuerdo que en la sección 2 había un reading que no lo terminamos. So if we have plenty of time, we will do it later. But, but at this time, I need volunteers to read the number one. Okay? Yes, ever. And then Jancy. Okay. I prefer an organized boss who I can do my best for her. All right. I very good. I prefer. ¿Qué es esto? Contractor, guys. I, I would. would. I would, right? I would. So organized. Organized. D, d. Remember, guys, las edes no se pronuncian si las palabras no terminan con tes o con des. Por ejemplo, accepted, needed, decided, permitted. Es así si pronunciamos la ed. Si no, d al final. Organized. Ok. Uh, so the next, please, Jancy, then Brandy, then Sully, uh, Sullivan, and finally Flor. Si tenemos más de cuatro. No, después me ayuda Flor. Okay. Number two, Andrea. Patty, Patty is a modest person who never brags about her grades. All right, very good. And what about the number three, Brandy? Uh, our coach can stand ego egoistical players. Egoistical players, okay. Our our 
can stand. Our. Solo acordémonos que aquí hacemos como el link. ¿verdad? Our couch can stand. Uh -huh. Can stand. Equitical players. Equitical players. All right. And number four, Sullivan. One. Yes. Go. I, I'm here. I'm here. Okay. Hey, I don't want to work with a difficult person. This person is unreliable. Okay. This person is unreliable, right? Unreliable. Unreliable. Okay. Good. Thank you so much. Okay. My pleasure. Okay, next, you will help me with instructions on these mm, um, on this new um, letter C. Okay, Fleur. Okay. Okay. Uh, put the words in order to make sentence example. Sentences. Uh huh. Sentences. Example is when person upset is unreliable, unreliable, Amy. unreliable. Emmy, okay, it, it upsets me when a person is unreliable. Nice. So, with the number one, you want to do it for me, Bre uh, Flor, and then uh, somebody else who wants to participate. Okay, me. let me know. Me. Okay, ever I guess. Yeah. Hey, teacher. And ¿Quién más dijo mí? <laughs> me, teacher. Zuliban. Okay, Zuliban. Permítame que me acaba de leer. Ya, ya vamos a ver. Okay. Um, ever and then maybe. You will help me later, Zuliban. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're okay. welcome. So, uh, continue, please, Flor, with the number one, and then you will help me uh, maybe, uh, sorry, ever, and then maybe with the number three. Go, 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 go. If I mind, forgets when name done someone, but I'm not sure. I'm sorry? I? I might mind, forgets. Hmm. No será negativo. Oh, no. I, I don't. Sería, I don't. No, te, no me molesta, es I don't mind. Okay? La expresión mind. es más como negativo. En muchas ocasiones se ocupa más así. I don't mind. Ah, no me molesta. Okay? I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, forget when... Uh, uh, thank you. Maybe. No. I don't mind. Huh? With someone. When someone. When someone forgets my name. Uh -huh, that's correct. Sí, a, a todos nos pasa que no se, no se nos olvidan los nombres, right? Forgets my name, okay? Miren, tercera persona siempre, ¿verdad? Forgets. All right, now ever, please. Sorry, usted era el segundo, Sorry, but. Teacher. Yeah, you, Sorry, you, teacher. You, you give me the number three. Suriba. Yes, you have a mistake right there the, at the beginning. Sorry, okay. sorry. I, I don't, don't mind. mind it. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, todos se nos olvida decir I don't mind it, right? Yeah, I yeah. forget it too. Uh -huh, exactly. Okay, thank you. I don't mind it. You're welcome. You're welcome. When? Thank you. So help me with the number three ever. ever. Okay, so I mean the second I, one. The second one? Yes. Okay, I can't stand it when people are late for appointments. Okay, so I can stand in, sorry, stand it when people, people are late, are late for okay. appointments. Or appointments late for with SBN. A point. Okay, yeah. Plural, right? A point. Months. Okay. And the number three. Mm -hmm. uh, so tell me, Sullivan, and then Brandy. Usted me ayuda con las siguientes, Brandy, for the next session. Okay. Okay. The word. Okay. okay. It's me, it makes me happy. It makes it me, happy. me happy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when a friend. A friend. Thank me. Very good. 
takes me out to lunch. Okay. If, he, if somebody wants, I am able to do, to receive that invitation. Ah, of course. Espérenme, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué lo puse mal? What, is, what was the mistake? Maybe it's the point at the end. The period. period. Then... Okay, period. Period. I don't use it, but... No. No. Yeah, me me either. Me, it makes me happy. It makes me happy. With double P, yes. When mm -hmm. uh, a friend, uh, a friend... Uh -huh, oh, friend. I think there is double space here, if I'm not mistaken. When a friend, look, yeah. Ah, no. yeah. No. A friend. A friend. A friend. Takes me. Uh -huh. Takes I, me aquí with creo it. que está. Yeah, I think it is here. I easy. Okay. okay. Let's go. See. Sí. Let's see. No. And that was correct. Okay. So, what is the uh, other mistake, guys? Help uh, me. I don't mind it. <laughs> Mind it. I, I don't mind it. Oh, I, oh my after god. The mind, after the oh mind. my goodness, guys. Si se, lo mismo le va a pasar a ustedes, ya van a ver. Así que no. lo, por lo menos we're learning right now and we we know what the what the mistakes might be. So we can do it later, so we can um have the correct uh, answers. Cuando uno no se equivoca es cuando aprende más, ¿verdad? So, yeah, ahí si correct. se fijan, ahí es que aprendemos. We make, uh, we actually learn from the mistakes. So, yeah, we're going to talk different. about, yeah. <laughs> Can you help me with instructions, maybe? Go. Read the sentences using your own phrases. Okay. Thank you. And Brandy, can you help me with the number one? And I will show you the options then. Well, working as an architect seems uh, exciting. All the... I've, I have I've always been... always been interested in designing. All right. You can say interested or you can say also interested. All right. Interested. Nice. Interested. Thank you. Interested. Or interested, it's not too common, but no, most of the time you will hear interested, okay? And, uh, and the number two, who wants to read it? One, two, three. three. Me. Ah, thank you, Andrea. Andrea. Uh, the number two, right? <clears throat> yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Care, Cheryl, 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 for the school paper. She doesn't really care about campus politics or social activities. All right. What happens after wouldn't like writing? Después de like, dijimos, ¿verdad? Que después de ciertos verbos ocupamos gerundios. Aquí por eso vamos a ocupar writing, gossiping. A gossip column, gossiping. Gossip, gossip column. Okay, and next, number three. Three, who wants to read it? One, two, me, teacher. Ernesto, and then Marina, okay? Okay, you save 25% of your salary all your life. Now it's time to have some fun. Retiring at age 50 sounds fantastic. You deserve it. Yeah, all right, thank you. So you continue, Marina, with the next one, letter D. Um, so the complete the sentences. And aerobic, say, continue. And aerobic aerobic instructions. Sorry. <laughs> Can I read the instructions? Complete the sentences. Come on, that's so, that's so easy. I know, I know. But thank you for your participation, Brandy. I appreciate that you are always uh, willing to, to help in the class. 
that's nice. And continue, I'm sorry, uh, Marina. An aerobic instructor probably earns um, uh, better paid than a tennis coach. Of course. Okay. As much as, please. As much as a tennis coach. Better paid than. Mm, better pay than me, a mí me suena correcta también pero ustedes pueden pero también es, sería esta como puede ganar mucho como o tanto como un tennis coach ustedes ya saben la respuesta así que les va a hacer caso yes, ok I so, got it. <laughs> ok thank you Jancy Saray um, a web designer has a better horse and, and hours. Original TV. Better hours. hours. Better hours than an international TV journalist. Okay, international. Everybody repeat international. Los Better americanos no, international. no pronuncian la T después de las N's. So you say an international, international. All right. No me sale como gringo, guys, pero. Algo, it's algo, like a algo call así. center. <laughs> like a call center. Call center, right? They don't say call center. They say call center. Mm -hmm. Call center. You're right. You're right. Okay. So I will decide okay. has international, uh, international TV journal. So journalist. better hours. Okay. And number three. Who wants to read it? One, two, three. Me. Jancy, Andrea, and then Marina, and then Sullivan, las últimas que nos faltan, ok. Ok, physician, psychiatrist, psychiatrist, psychiatrist are often better educated than police. Politicians. 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 Me ayuda a leerlo, Marina, otra vez. Help me read it. I, uh, I don't remember. Marina, Stephanie, fíjese que Marina Angélica fue la que había dicho mi teacher. Deme un momentito, sorry, please. Teacher. No, don't yeah. worry. I, I'm sorry that I... I didn't remember that there were two marinas. Yo sé que no se me olvidó que eran dos marinas también como 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 Jancy. Marina Angélica. These teachers are often <laughs> are often better educated than politicians. Mejor se lo voy a poner vaya para que no digan la teacher los pronuncia mal. All right, se lo voy a escribir mejor y ustedes Psychiatrists. Psychiatrist, exactly. Thank you. Pero se lo vamos a poner aquí porque también a mí se me traba, se me lengua la traba. All right. I got like tongue twisted as well. Psychiatrist. Ah, much better. Everybody repeat it, guys. Psychiatrist. 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 All right. Good. So. Now you know how to pronounce it. Okay, psychiatrists are often um, better educated. Acuérdense que si pronuncio la TED y la DED, ¿verdad? Con los verbos regulares siempre, eso sí se, se pronuncian, all right? And finally, Sullivan, you wanted to read the number four. Sure. Better. Okay. Go. Let's see. Working as a comedian is less interesting than being movie and actor. Being. Being. Yeah, correct. Le, being le puso la G aquí, ¿verdad? Ok, being. Right. Que ser, ¿verdad? Mm. Sí. Eh, ¿Se acuerdan que les dije una regla, aparte de que los gerundios que ya nos aprendimos, que les dije incluso en el chat, se los recordé? Ajá. ¿Por qué dice being aquí? Y no sé, en lugar de decir being, solo dice, en lugar de decir be, dice being. Cri, 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 Sullivan, no puedo. Cri, 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 cri. Ah, también. Ajá. Yes, cri, cri. Cri, cri. 
Eh, siempre hay una preposición, ¿ok? Esta es una preposición, ¿verdad? Entonces, después de preposiciones también se usa verbos en gerundio, ¿ok? So, okay. Eh, in that case, is less interesting than, ya tenemos el, el, el comparison there. So, there we go. We have only five minutes, guys. Después de estos cinco minutitos, eh, solo vamos a leer. Yo sé que todos quieren leer, pero ahorita eh, Brandy ya me está diciendo que quiere leer. Los demás no me han levantado la mano. So, if you want to read, do it right now because we have some paragraph that we can talk about. Right? So, Jancy, Andrea, remember, guys, yo no les voy a estar obligando. Si ustedes quieren leer, pues ustedes lo deciden. Brandy. Jancy Andrea, maybe, who wants to read, y si no solo a ellas les dejo que lean, ¿verdad? Ok. <laughs> no problem, right, Brandy? Vaya. Hey, Marina, eso. Marina y ambas, Jen, ambas, ah, no, Tania, Tania. Ok, so Tania, eh, please, Brandy, you will read, le voy a poner hasta donde leen. Y aquí vamos a terminar, ¿ok? Uh, so you will read the first paragraph. Eh, Jan C. Okay. Andrea, you will read until the period that is... Tu, 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 tu. Mid. Yeah, aquí, hasta mid. And then right. the other period will be for Marina, ¿ok? Hasta el otro period. Luego, after that, mmm, espérenme, no, maybe va a ser, entonces... Aquí para maybe, you're the third one. Maybe es la tercera. The pilot also helps. Blah, blah, blah. Y aquí está el otro punto. Aquí va a leer Tania. Y quién más. Bueno, let's continue. Ya después les pido a alguien más que, que lo haga. Ok, come on. Three minutes. The ups and down of being a pilot. Have you Not. ever... Ah, perdón, perdón. Ok, go. Sorry. <laughs> Have you ever thought about being an airline pilot? Being a pilot is challenging and exciting. However, some aspect, aspects of a pilot's job can be boring and pilots often have inconvenient hours. Good job. I love your the, the, the rhythm, right? Esa que le da the intonation is super nice. Continue, I've Andrea. I've been practicing. It's not, it's not easy. I've been practicing. I know. Yeah. Having a, having a husband, an American husband, right? It makes your life easier. <laughs> no, 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 no. He never, never, never helped me. Yeah, but you, but you talk to him. No. He, you're listening to him. Okay, let's continue, Andrea. Continue, continue. Okay. A pilot's work begins long before the plane takes off, two or three hours before a flight. The pilot and the flight dispatcher meet. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. Continue, maybe. They plan the exact road the aircraft will take using information about weather, number of passengers, and cargo. Continue, continue. Maybe. The pilot also helps check the plane for technical and mechanical problems. Thank you. Continue, Marina. Pilots often say that the worst things about flying is sitting in the cockpit, which is very crumpled. Ok, continue, continue. No tenía Once muchos plane, ahí, hasta aquí. Ajá. Okay. Once the plane is, is in the air, the pilot usually puts the controls on autopilot and on very long Auto, flights. Autopilot, ok. Autopilot and mm -hmm. on very long flights. A pilot may take a break for a few hours, leaving the co-pilot to fly the aircraft. Thank you. Finally, Tania, creo que no me, no, ¿quién me leyó de último, guys? ¿Quién me faltó? No. Me. I never participated. Tania. Tania ya participó. No. Vaya, dele pues. Come on. Démosle rápido. Must be Hoy se me van a colgar. Mm -hmm. 
The life of the world and passengers depends on the pilot's skills and control. Good night, everyone. <laughs> espérame, espérame. We need to answer the questions. Solo, solo les dejo esto, chicos. Do eh, send it on, on, on WhatsApp. See you then. Sounds bye. Awesome. I, I send bye, bye. Money, chicos. Bye. bye bye. Take bye. care. Bye. See, see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.